going to do a quick video on the new Trocar fishing hooks that just came out not too long ago, say I think about a year. Um, I've always used Gamakatsu's owners, stuff like that, since I thought those were one of the best hooks. Um, but they're not made here in the U.S., uh, so that's why I'm switching over to Trocars. They're made here in Colorado, in the U.S., um, and they're just they're surgically sharpened hooks. Uh, they're one of the sh sharpest hooks I've ever used, and they work. I mean, uh, I've compared them to my gummies I use for freshwater fishing, and they just flat out hook the fish better. They stay hooked, and they the tips don't bend over. They don't break. They don't bend. Um, they're just a good, strong hook um, for my freshwater fishing. Uh, let's see what we got here. I'm using the TK110. It's a 4 -0 worm hook. These hooks have three sides to them. Two sides on the top and then on the bottom they got a really nice flat surface so they penetrate a lot faster than the other hook. That's what I'm using for my fresh water. Um, if I'm throwing a frog for fresh or a um, swim bait for salt water I'm using the TK140s and that has the uh, screw on the front. It's pretty much the same exact thing as the regular worm hook but it has that screw on the front and the baits swim so perfect. I've caught so many snook on this hook uh, with no problems, no missed fish. The hook's always right in the either in the corner or you know down the gut and just not in the gut the hook to kill the fish but it's just in there nice and perfect and uh, never had an issue with the tips breaking or the hooks bending on themselves. Um, if I'm needing a little bit more weight I'm using the TK170 which is their weighted worm hook. I think this is a 6 odd. So I want a little bit more weight if I'm wanting my bait to swim a little bit better. A little bit more upright instead of sometimes to the side. Some of the baits want to swim to the side with the regular worm hook without the weight. If I want a little more weight, that's what I'm using right there. Great hook. I've hooked a couple of good snook on this one as well. Their treble hooks are all I use now. For my top water plugs, every time I get a top water plug, no matter what's like what brand it is, it could be a $15 lure. I'm switching the hooks out because they suck. I mean, playing out, you can on the Spook Juniors, I'm switching the hooks out. I can bend them with my fingers. A redfish is gonna crush it. So I'm using their new. I'm fine if I even have them on me right here. I'm using their wide gap treble hooks, and I've caught biggest snook so far is 38 inches with no issues with it at all. Uh, as far as saltwater fishing goes, I'm using live bait. I'm using the TK3. It's the 3 aught um, non-offset circle hook. And we're going to be testing them tonight on some snook. Uh, I've caught a couple really nice trout with them. I know some of the guys are using the uh, 7 aughts, 8 aughts for tarpon fishing. And it takes no effort to hook these fish. You're piercing the tarpon's mouth, which is pretty much pure bone. And they're getting four fish on one hook compared to say a gami or an owner, you're getting one fish on one hook. But they're getting four fish per hook on the, the bigger ones. But they're a decent hook. I mean I've always used the gamis when it comes to my circle hooks because they they seem a little bit stronger than the owners. But um, ever since I started using these about a couple months ago, when I finally started using live bait for summer fishing, uh, they're sweet. I've caught a couple small tarpon on them. And they've done well. Uh, if I'm using a smaller bait, if I'm using like a small brim or a small, you know, really small bait, like a little mud minnow or something for tarpon or snook, I'm going with their little tiny drop shot hook, it's a TK150. These do have a little flex to them because they are a light wire hook, but they are sharp. I mean, they'll they'll get you. You gotta be careful with those ones. Other than that, it's show car. That's all I'm gonna be using from now on. It's just a great hook, and they're made here in the U.S. I'm trying to support America as much as I can, since everything is made overseas now. I uh, hope that helps. And go try, Pat. You won't be upset. Great hooks.